Hey y'all, time for another certified cult classic. Today we're talking about one of the most fucked up things that I think humans do. Animal training. So I did some research into animal husbandry, see where this thing all came from, and I found some hilarious stuff. So let's go see what the horse girls are up to. Or fish girls. Any animal can be trained. I'm talking bugs, spiders, pigeons, rabbits, whales, anything. And that's not me saying that. That's this guy, Bob Bailey. And he's got a dolphin. And his dolphin's got a ball. And look, they're sharing. Trained. Civilized. Mr. Bailey was the director of training of the U.S. Navy Marine Mammal Program, which is a lot of words. I'll put it in terms that we understand. Guillermo del Toro's 2017 Oscar award-winning fish fucking movie, in which he's this guy. Bob Bailey developed dolphin husbandry procedures in the spring of 1963, teaching dolphins to lie still and cooperate, to let trainers put objects into their mouths and blow holes. Blow holes? Okay, Mr. Bailey, um, what were you putting in their blow holes, Bob? For medical procedures. Yeah, okay. Okay, Mr. Bailey said, <laughs> I'm developing animal husbandry procedures. I'm just consummating the marriage. <laughs> you need to leave. <laughs> I'm just joking. I don't want to defame Bob Bailey. There's no evidence of him having a sexual relationship with a dolphin. This woman, on the other hand, she fucks dolphins. They have sexual urges. Who of us sure doesn't? Peter had Plenty of thoughts along those lines. Peter liked to be with me. <laughs> I'm back. Peter liked to be with me. You see that? Did you guys see that? With me. With me. In the beginning, when he would get rambunctious and, and have this need, I would put him on the elevator and say, you go play with the girls for a day. Rambunctious have this need. She's being very polite about this dolphin wanting to blow her back out. But as Peter's urges grew more frequent, the process of transporting him down to the two female dolphins to satisfy him proved disruptive. Disruptive? Wait, that's, dis that's disruptive? It's disruptive for him to fuck other dolphins, but it's not disruptive for her to finish him. The best way of focusing his mind back on the lessons was to relieve his desires herself manually. Huh? Relieve his desires manually, bro. They are coming up with some creative ways to avoid saying that she was giving this man hand sandwiches on the fucking regular. I shouldn't even call him a man. He's a freaking dolphin, bro. It was just easier to incorporate that and, and let it happen. It was very uh, precious. It was very easier? gentle. Uh, Peter was right there. He knew that I was right there. Again, it was sexual on his part. It was not sexual on mine. Sensuous, perhaps. Pause. <laughs> Again, bro, she's, she is light-footing around this thing. Oh, it was like a ritual, almost. He was there. I was there. He was hard. I was jacking him off. <laughs> Again, it was sexual on his part. It was not sexual on mine. Sensuous, perhaps. Can somebody please explain to me the difference, the important difference between a sexual relationship with a dolphin and a sensual one? I don't think either one of them should be happening. What does sensuous even mean? Is that like sensual? Attractive or gratifying physically, especially sexually? Wait a minute. Now, hold on. I think you just told on yourself, Margaret. What's physically gratifying or attractive about having to jack a dolphin to completion? Bro. We've just become part of what was going on, like an itch. Just get rid of that. We'll scratch it and we'll be done. Move on. Scratch it until it's done, Margaret? We'll just get rid of it? Is this the dolphin research facility at Hustlers University? And, and that's really all it was. <laughs> I was there to get to know Peter. That was part of Peter. It was great that she wasn't going to be. That was part of Peter, bro? That was part of Peter? His Peter? 
wrapping her five fingers around his Peter until he skeetered? Oh! Bro. Hey, all in a day's work. But uh, as a veterinarian, I wondered about poor Peter. This dolphin was madly in love with her. As a veterinarian and a friend, I was like, bro, simping hard on Margaret, bro. She's just there for the handies and she's good to go, dude. She's sensuous, not sexual, my guy. All right, I think that's enough for today. I, I, I'm all pooped. Um, I don't even know what to say to that. This is editing, Tony. Um, I actually did think of something to say. I had a joke written here that I forgot to actually record, so I'm just going to say it now. Turns out the shape of water is a dolphin's dick. Okay, back to the video. This woman shook me. This woman shook me to my core. Um, anyway, I just wanted to say, I got a lot of really encouraging comments and uh, feedback on the last video, so thank you guys for that. Seriously, thank you so much. So in researching this video, I actually found like so many different cases of people training animals to do crazy things. So this is probably going to be like a two-parter. I'll make another video in the future about uh, some more wacky stuff. My goal for this channel is to really just talk about things that I find interesting in ways that you guys find interesting. So please continue to let me know in the comments what I can do better. Um, and while you're down there, you know what? Go ahead and click the sub and the like button. Oh, and hit the bell too, dude. All your friends are doing it. It's just three more clicks. All your friends are doing it. Do it. What are you, a loser? Huh? You scared? Are you scared, dude? Don't you want to fit in? Don't you want to fit in with your friends? Subscribe! Subscribe! Do you like how I love you? I drive a thousand miles just to bug you. If you got a plan, understand that I'll come through. By Van Cleo work, read Sun Tzu. We could take off for the week, head for the beach, taking the sun and the sea. The girl who talked to dolphins. That's not all she did.